Hi friends, welcome to Shiva Sai for you basic electronics YouTube channel. So today's topic is reservoir and smoothing circuit, uh, smoothing circuits. So I request all my viewers, if you not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and keep supporting. Okay, let's start with the topic reservoir and smoothing circuits. Reservoir is nothing but it going to store charges. Okay, and smoothing circuits are nothing but it will do filter action. Filtering means we can eliminate DC components or AC component of a certain uh, waveforms. Okay, for example, if I take a RFI rectifier circuit, the output of the RFI rectifier, okay, we have this waveform. Okay, only positive cycle is utilized, negative off cycle is not utilized. Okay, so in order to get a continuous power supply, in order to get a continuous power supply, so we need a smoothing circuits. Okay, so before moving to the smoothing circuits, we need to know the concept of inductor and capacitor. So the concept of capacitor is capacitor. Keep in mind, capacitor allows AC component and going to block DC. If I give DC signal, capacitor going to block the DC. If I apply AC signal, capacitor allows AC. See, capacitor going to allow AC. Capacitor allows AC and blocks DC. Similarly, inductor. Inductor going to allows DC component. So DC component allows an inductor and AC component going to block by the inductor. So along with this two, inductor and capacitor, we can also use resistor, okay? But resistor will not filtering uh, component. But uh, during discharge power, discharge condition, that resistor will going to provide path for this uh, charged element. Okay, got it? So based with the help of the resistor, we can have following smoothing circuits. Okay, RC smoothing circuit. Okay, RL smoothing circuit. LC smoothing circuit. And then combination. Okay, C, L and C. Okay, capacitor, inductor only. Uh, two capacitor, one inductor. Like that, several combinations. We can, by making with a different arrangement, we can have following smoothing circuits. So, commonly used smoothing circuit is RC circuit. Okay. So, let me can discuss this in detail. Understood? So, let me see the, uh, how the rectifier will work. If I give a supply, secondary is step down, AC voltage applied to the circuit. During positive cycle diode on, voltage will appear across the load. That is, so whatever I wrote waveforms here, that is uh, transformer secondary voltage will be AC. During positive of cycle, diode on, so that voltage come across the load. Negative of cycle, diode is reverse bias, no output voltage. Again positive of cycle, output voltage appears. Negative of cycle, no voltage, no conduction. So See, here I wrote, the voltage across the load without capacitor. If I add capacitor to the load, then it becomes a smoothing circuit. So, let, let we can add a capacitor across this resistor. If I add a capacitor, so let me add a capacitor C1, okay. Then, what will be the voltage across the load? Okay, look at here guys, during positive off cycle, diode turn on, diode turn on, the capacitor going to charge, during positive cycle, keep in mind, during positive off cycle, okay, during positive off cycle, C1 charges, okay, capacitor C1 charges to a peak voltage, whenever this dirt conducts, current flows, that current into resistance will get voltage across the load, how much voltage? This much positive voltage appear across the load and same voltage going to charge it by the capacitor. Okay, capacitor going to charge the peak voltage, whatever the voltage across the load. Why means these two are connected in parallel. Whatever the voltage is here, same voltage will be across the capacitor. Okay, got it? So therefore, capacitor going to charge. Capacitor going to charge to peak voltage. Okay, got it? To peak voltage, capacitor going to charge it. So now, during negative off cycle, during negative off cycle, what happens? Diode will be off. During negative off cycle, diode turned off. So when diode turned off, no current flows here. Okay. Even though still 
there will be voltage across the load. Got it? There will be voltage across the load. Look at here, negative half cycle there does not conduct. But during negative half cycle, we can recover the stored charges during positive half cycle. See, in positive half cycle, capacitor is charged. During negative half cycle, this capacitor is going to provide supply to the resistor. Okay, got it? Like that, whenever diode is not conducting, still supply is available across the load. Voltage is available across the output side. Got it? So, now the capacitor is going to discharge, okay, only in this, in this part. The capacitor is going to discharge, okay, in this load resistance RL. Okay, in this load resistance RL, capacitor is going to discharge. It won't discharge in this, uh, this side because it is open circuit. Okay, got it? So, charging a capacitor is very faster, okay, but discharging is slow time. Discharging of the capacitor is very slow. Why means that is due to high value of load resistance. Due to high value of load resistance, the discharge time of capacitor is very, uh, uh, very high. Okay, so let me write this. During negative half cycle, what happened? C1 discharges, capacitor C1 discharges. See, negative half cycle, actually no output voltage. But if I use capacitor here across the load, Voltage will, voltage will be there. See, the capacitor charges to peak value. Up to peak value, the capacitor will be charged. After that, see peak value. After that, the voltage is decreasing. Input voltage is decreasing. It is approaching to zero at this instant. It is appro approaching to zero at that instant. Meanwhile, the capacitor also starts discharging. Okay, start discharging. It will slowly discharge. It will slowly discharge. Okay, now again positive cycle occurs. See, during negative cycle, diode won't conduct. Diode won't conduct. Negative cycle will not get. But still there will be a voltage. Still there will be a voltage. Why means during positive cycle, capacitor stores. That stored energy is discharged through this RL. It won't discharge faster. It will discharge slowly. Okay, that's why your uh, voltage slowly decreases. By that time, again next positive cycle appears. Again, capacitor quickly charges to peak value. Capacitor quickly charges to peak value. Again, the value decreases. So, the voltage across capacitor also decreases. And, uh, at, see, up to here it will decrease. After that, negative cycle, no voltage. Again, whatever the energy stored, whatever the stored is there, that is going to discharge in this load resistance. So, therefore, again, the value decreases. Okay. So when again next positive cycle appears, as soon as positive cycle appears, again capacitor is going to charge. So like this, this cycle repeats, keep on moving. So therefore, you can write this part, this part is, this part is charging. See, charging time is very fast, okay, very less. And from here to here, this is the discharging time. Okay, this portion is discharging time. Okay, discharging. Understood guys? Now, what is this uh, value? So, this peak to this peak. Okay, from here to here. Okay, this total height is there. No? Maximum peak and the capacitor lowest point of discharge. Okay, that magnitude is called ripple. RIPP, yani ripples. Okay, ripple content in the output. But here there is a lot of ripple. Okay, that ripple is slightly reduced if I use a capacitor. Okay, however we can reduce this ripple little bit layer, little bit uh, in an improvement manner. We can reduce this ripple by increasing the value of capacitor. Okay, if I increase the value of capacitor, what happens? Capacitive reactance decreases. Lesser the reactance, okay, all AC component flows in this capacitor only. Okay, got it? So, therefore, uh, it's going to discharge faster. So, if the discharge faster means, now this point appears here. Now, now it comes here means, so ripple get reduced. Got it? Understood, guys? Very simple. And this topic will not come for exam, only for understanding purpose. But we are using this reservoir circuit in next topic is fluid rectifiers. There I am going to explain in detail. Okay, got it? 
So, got it. So, like this, uh, we can use, okay, pause the video and then copy down. We can use this type of circuit again. So, let me consider this is a rectifier. Okay, a rectifier. Only for example, I have taken in different circuit to this capacitor will do different function. See now, now I used a resistor here and one more capacitor here. Okay, let me take this is C1 and this one C2. So this is also, let me take this is R1. See now, this is the here, here rectified output will be available at this point. The rectified output is given to this RC network. Okay, see now, this portion acts like a, this portion acts like a potential divider. And this capacitor going to remove the ripple content. Whatever the AC component is present in this rectified output, that AC component is uh, eliminated by this capacitor. Got it? And during during positive cycle, this capacitor is going to charge. Okay. Once negative of cycle, whatever store charge has to discharge. For the discharge purpose, this resistance is there. Okay. Got it? And it going to act like a potential divider. And ultimate capacitor is C2 that is voltage across the load. So when the negative cycle is uh, appeared, diode does not connect, whatever stored charges that are going to get discharged in this external load. So before that, ripple content is already removed. So using the uh, resistor, capacitor, inductors in variety of combinations, uh, we can make changes in the output. Okay, got it. This is one type of uh, filter. So next filter is you can use this type of this one also inductor okay smoothing inductor and smoothing capacitor and external load okay instead of this we can use this one also let me take c1 and c2 inductor is using it going to allow dc only dc component is allowed if still ac component is present that can be eliminated by this capacitor c2 okay starting only ac component reduce okay see for example uh, AC and DC both are there. AC component is eliminated by this capacitor. Now only DC flows. Okay. And if still if still in this uh, waveform, if there is any AC component that get eliminated by this capacitor C2. Got it. So finally we can get across the load smooth DC. In order to get uh, pure DC waveform, okay, we are using this circuits as a filter. Ultimate goal, in, goal is what? Smooth output. That's why this is called a smoothing circuits. Okay, got it? Our goal is AC should be like this and DC should be like this. If you use a rectifier circuit, the output will be, if it is alpha rectifier like this, if it is full wave rectifier, it will be like this. I want to get like this. So, for that purpose, I am using smoothing circuits. Okay, got it? It acts like a reservoir as well as filtering circuits in order we can remove either AC or DC component. I hope this much uh, information is sufficient to understand the upcoming topics. Okay. So if you like this video, please share this video to all your friends and tell them to subscribe. 